Hey guys, what I'm going to be doing is um, sanding down this helmet. I got a new bike and I bought this helmet off of a friend and the color scheme you'll see with my bike is definitely not going to work. So what I'm going to be doing is sanding this helmet down and then painting it a color that will be complementary to the bike. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of show you different stages on how I'm doing that. So I'm using an 80 grit, 400, and 1000 grit. These are automotive advanced uh, sandpapers. Um, like if you go to Walmart, these are actually going to be locked up in the automotive department in a glass case for whatever reason. I'm not sure. They're still only like $3 for each one. And, you know, you're going to be wearing this all the time. And um, friends, people are going to see it, so they're going to be picking it up. So I want it to feel good, look good, and, um, you know, it doesn't cost that much more. Anyhow, so let's get started. Okay guys, so my bike is neon green and so you can see very quickly that does not work with this helmet. So we're gonna start with the 80 grit. Next time you see it, I'll show you it's been sanded with the 80. Okay, so I've been going with the um, 80 grit and the whole goal is to get all the shiny part off of the helmet. So you can see I have not done on the right side of that chin, so there's still some shine, but everything over here, dull, dull, dull. That's what you're looking for. Um, once you get that off, the next, um, you really only have to probably do one more other uh, finer grit, but I'm going to do two to get it really smooth. Um, but um, I've been working at it for about probably 10 15 minutes and I've got that far okay so the sanding is complete and as you can see it's all gone all the graphics all the way around looks like I need to get that spot everything else looks good and I'm gonna uh, soft scrub it with the 800 and 1000 grit now. So I got it all sanded down. So now I gotta spray it with some black primer and then she'll be ready to paint. Alright, I'm very sorry I forgot, um, but I maxed off the entire air holes, uh, face piece obviously. Uh, this vent hole only because I didn't want to uh, make it maybe not work. Um, it's got a latch that opens and closes and then these breather holes on the back. I covered all those up with masking tape and then used a razor blade to cut around them. Um, and then I'm using dual paint and primer, black and satin. Um, I just hit it with a, um, a very light mist. Um, I forget what they call it, um, but there's a technical term. Um, but basically that lets you see what kind of finish you're going to have with the final product. So if you didn't like it, that would be a good time to scrub or, or start over. But um, it's looking real good, so I'm going to hit it with a solid coat after this dries here in about uh, two more minutes. And um, I'll take a video when it's done with uh, two, maybe three coats at the most. Bye. Okay, so this is uh, two full coats, and this is a satin finish. So if you wanted to go high gloss, it would even be shinier than this. Um, but I'm going to be hitting this with uh, some uh, neon green um, for pattern. So um, when it's all done, I might not actually put an enamel clear coat on it. Is the plan? So um, yeah, it's got to got to get something like that going on. But it's already much better than the gold helmet that it was. I think you'd agree. Okay, so I haven't been keeping up as well as I'd hoped. But um, I'm using engine enamel. It's called Grabber Green and this is the first coat and so basically I wanted to follow the contours of the helmet and yes it's really as bright as the bike <clears throat> and for freehand I think that's pretty great um, it's pretty much identical on both sides and then I did a freehand stencil on the back as well. So then we'll hit it with a engine um, enamel uh, clear coat when we're done. 
uh, but I'm going to give it 24 hours to cure. I just got done with some night riding, so I actually just uh, changed back out to a clear visor, but uh, visor, excuse me. But I usually have a mirrored visor on. Uh, but um, paint-wise, I was getting comments from people that uh, it didn't look like it matched uh, from when I was inside in the kitchen. I guess it's the lighting that's in there. Um, sorry for moving you around, but um, I mean it's pretty much an exact match. Um, to the bike. Um, so for those of you who are thinking about doing this um, repainting your helmet um, I've gotten nothing but good responses and then sticking with my biohazard theme um, I did finish with going with the glow um, and this whole piece right here just that's more than enough uh, more than that it was gonna look really weird but at night this piece just glows and it glows really bright um, but uh, yeah so I thought it turned out really good. Um, definitely if you look from the start to finish, um, definitely a totally different helmet. But um, yeah, uh, comment, subscribe below. I'm gonna continue to do videos as long as you guys keep asking me for them. Uh, but uh, comment and I'll talk to you later, bye.